Hello again and Happy New Year from Highgate Woods, uh, my favourite place in all the world. Welcome to 2020 from me, Mel Byron. Uh, as you can see, the sun is shining, so it's an auspicious day. Uh, the light is filtering through the trees here. It's rather spectacular. Uh, it's Monday, the 6th of January. Statistically, it won't surprise you, January is the busiest month for online job searches, right? Because we all want to make some positive changes in our lives and Monday is statistically the busiest day. So it's Monday, it's the first Monday of January. So if you are looking for a new job, best of luck to you. I hope you find something that matches uh, your skills and of course, most importantly, your values and that that makes you happy in the coming year. You, sometimes you might not be looking for a job. You just want to make some positive changes in the place that you're working already. And we can all do this. We don't have to be senior managers to do this. I was talking to a friend of mine just before Christmas and she was telling me a story uh, from early in her working life, how it was like it was her first job and she was working really hard and one night she was working really late, really up to here. And she just said to her manager, do you know what, it would be really nice if you could just say thank you. And he just looked at her and said, well, why should I thank you? Uh, because nobody ever thanks me. What? I mean, not only is that spectacularly poor leadership, but it's also a massively wasted opportunity. This was his opportunity to change the culture. So what if his managers, his bosses were too busy to recognize what he did to give him recognition for a job well done? He could have made the change himself. I'm saying that to all of us. It's up to all of us to make the change. If we want to engender a positive workplace culture, because as we all know, we are in a positive culture and we're feeling happy when we're at work, we're more productive. Productive. Um, I've said that before, but I think it needs saying again. Uh, why not? Why not make that change? And all he needed to do was say two words: "Thank you." Simple, simple thing. So if you work in a culture where that doesn't happen, or you feel that you can't do it, just try it. You could make a massive difference to somebody's working day. Thank you. Well done. I really appreciate this. These are very, very small things, and you can make a real difference to somebody's working day by saying them. So good luck with whatever you're doing in the new year. But remember, positive change can mean all kinds of things. And as leaders, and we're all leaders, remember, uh, it's up to us to make those changes. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video and wish you all, and me, and all of us, the very best of luck in 2020. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you want to follow me, there's details down there of uh, my channel. You can subscribe, you can make comments. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at The Mel Byron. There's going to be loads of stuff happening uh, social media wise this year. So thanks again and good luck with everything.